students. So we'll be continuing our discussion. This is the third video for the review of FAR. And now we'll talk about the statement of financial position. And we're done with the P. We are going to discuss the S. In the financial statement of making decision based on sum and the FS should be passed. And what is 3S? S will be sustainability. What do we mean by sustainability? Sustainability is to live long. Okay? So you have to live long. Longer, longest. Okay? Ako tatlong L. Long, longer, longest. Ano yan? Eh kung pwede lang na maging infinite ang buhay natin. Diba? Yung life ng business o L din yan. Eh, para tumagal ang, 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 ang buhay mo, you have to be sustainable. You need to be able to provide uh, the needs, no? the stakeholder and uh, and and it will also show no uh, what you were able to accumulate all through the years that you are alive okay so a statement of financial position sinasabi niya kung kaya mo bang tumagal bilang isang negosyo dahil ikaw ay is stable. No? You are a business firm which has the capacity to be stable. If sustainability is looking at how long will I live, then stability will be looking at the reliability of the firm in making decisions no? and the reliability of the basis of making decisions. And the one that we have introduced previously, solvency. Okay? All these three meant the same. It's just that I'm explaining to you in what perspective it, it would somehow have some difference. Because in order for you to be sustainable, you have to be reliable. You cannot stay long in the business if the decisions you are making are not based on a reliable information. And the one making the decisions are a strong-willed individual. Because there are decisions that you have to make that sometimes uh, the others would be, may not be happy about it, but on a long-term basis, uh, they would be benefited by your decision. Remember, sabi nga, the only constant in this world is change. And normally, changes are not accepted with an open hand and an open mind. Diba? Pag may nabago sa buhay mo. Halimbawa, uh, ngayon, ha? tingnan nyo mga pagbabago sa buhay mo. Lahat ba yan, agad, madali nyo na-accept? It's a good thing kung halos lahat na nangyari sa buhay mo na pagbabago. Madaling tanggapin. Eh, hindi naman ganun ang buhay. Ay, ganun din ang negosyo. No? That's why, you ha, patataga na dibdib, ah, ay, yung bangkarelasyon mo, lahat ba ng ginagawa niya, gusto mo. Kaya nga, meet halfway. Diba? Well, well, trying to balance things as partners. Because balancing our relationship is a contributor to make it last. Hindi kayo tatagal pagka hindi kayo nag-meet halfway. Gusto niya, gusto mo. Hindi pwede kasi gusto ko lang, gusto lang niya. Tsaka class ang buhay, hindi lahat ng gusto pwede, di ba? O kaya yun. You have, you have to have three S's in your uh, life as a person and in your life as a fear. Okay, and these are sustainability, stability, and solvency. Yan ang pinapakita ng ating statement of financial position. Kaya kung gusto niyong malaman, kung malakas ba at tatagal yung partner mo, ay, yan ang unang tingnan mo. Statement of financial position. At kung gusto mo ba na, uy, ma-perform ba to? O dead ma lang pagkasama ko. At tingnan mo yung ano, statement of operation. Diba? Mm. 
Now, ano ang nakalagay sa statement of uh, financial position? Ano yung mga ini-expect natin na makikita natin dito? Ito ay asset, liability, at equity. Hoy, ang karelasyon nyo pala dito ay nagnangalang ali. At ito ay yung inyong accounting elements. Okay? And uh, likewise with, with, with revenue and uh, your expenses, these are accounting elements no? in your statement of uh, operation. Eh ma'am, ano yung asset? Uy, madali yan. Ari-arian. Eh ma'am, ano English nun? Eh the resources, what you have. Sipin mo nga, ano ba yung mga meron ako? Why? Ito yan. Properties at rights. Alam natin, ang properties ay tangible. Ang rights ay intangible. Sige nga, bigyan nyo nga ako ng sample ng asset mo bilang isang tao. Bigyan nyo ako ha. Yan yung inyong experience point. O, ano pa? Liabilities. Ano liabilities? Obligation. Mama ng mga obligation namin. Ano to ah? As a firm, kahit bilang isang individual. Magbayad ka. Ano ibabayad ko ma'am? Pera. O kung hindi mo kayang magbayad ng pera, ayan. You provide services. Okay? Kasi sa atin, ang basic accounting obligation natin is like this. Asset is equal to liability plus equity. Diba? That's your basic accounting equation. And what will be my equity? Equity will be the investment, the withdrawal from the owners. And we know that kaya tayo nagkaroon ng asset kasi nanggaling yan sa liability at sa equity. Eh, ma'am, sino ang uh, karelasyon namin sa asset? Kaya isipin nyo na lang muna ito. One word ang asset ay what you own. Owned by the firm. O di ang karelasyon mo, the firm. O sa liabilities, ano to? This is what you owe. Kangino, kay creditor, at kay owner. O, paano ba kayo nagkakaroon ng karelasyon? Hindi ba sumasagot kayo ng oo? Yes! That's why you have your partner with you. You say, oo tayo na. Oo, mahal kita. Ah, may dapat mahalin mo talaga yung mga ari-arian mo. Dapat talaga mahalin mo no? yung mga obligasyon mo at yung mga investment na ibinigay, na ipinagkatiwala sa'yo ng nagmamay-ari ng negosyo. O, oh, clear ba yun? O, oh, yung pala yun, pag sa statement of financial position. O, class, hindi lang ay bibigay niyong sample, ha, sa experience point niyo, yung resources. Dapat pati obligation, magbigay kayo ng sample as a person. I'm not asking about the business. I'm asking about you. You know, kasi for you to appreciate the concept that you are discussing in a class, you have to be able to apply it to yourself. Appreciation is, is being able to grasp how it would be applied to myself. Mm, sige, so bigay kayo ng sample ng resources, na property sa right, obligation, na pwede mong bayaran ng pera, at obligasyon na pwede mong bayaran ng serbisyo. Okay? Because it's all about what you own and what we owe. No? Okay, now, if this is about the statement of financial position, what about the statement of cash flow which shows the liquidity and when you talk about liquidity, this would uh, be looking at the three activities. And what are the three activities that we learn from the statement of cash flow? These are operating, which will be shown or related to, rather, related, no? Hindi shown, but kasi it will be shown in the statement of cash flow. Saan natin makikita? Income statement tsaka balance sheet in the current asset and current liability. So, lahat na nakalagay sa operating ng galing yan sa income statement tsaka sa current asset tsaka current liability. And then, your your investing activities will be from the non-current asset of the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. And your financing will be the long-term liability and stockholders equity. Still, you have your asset is equal to liability plus equity. Kasi ito, current and non-current, current and non-current. O, iyan yung, ano, yung mga nilagay dyan. Or, 
ginamit natin dito long term liability. Parehas lang naman yun. Diba? Yung non-current liability at saka long term liability. Okay? So, let's look into the details of your statement of cash flow. And, pag operating activities, cash received from revenue, that is in your statement of operation. Diba? Sales. And then, cash paid for expenses. That will be your uh, cost of goods sold at saka operating expenses. No? Kasi, ito sales to sa statement of operation. Then, the sale of operational asset. Ano ba yung sale of operational asset? Building, land, equipment. Diba? Ano yung sale of investment? That would be Uh, marketable security, then you have your bonds, no? You have your, uh, ano pa? Your stocks, no? When you uh, somehow make an investment. Then, collection of loan, no? Ito yung uh, ikaw yung nagpa-utang, diba? Na pang panahon. Then, ito naman, Ayun, kung isa nagbenta ka, ito naman bibili ka ng building, ng land, ng equipment. At ito naman ay ano, kung ito ibinenta mo na yung investment mo ng bond, ng stock, eh dito naman ay ano, bumibili ka ng bond at stock. You are the investor. Then ito, yung, kung yung una kinukolekta mo yung pautang mo, dito naman nagpapautang ka. Okay? So, yun yung isang tumanggap ka ng pera at naglalabas ka ng pera. And then ito, dahil... Kita nyo ha, o, oh, non-current asset talaga to. Diba? Maliban doon sa marketable securities na, syempre, hindi naman siya pwedeng uh, ilalagay mo sa operating kasi it's a short-term investment. Siya lang yung, syempre, in every rule, there's an exemption. Diba? Tapos, dito, sa financing activities, hindi ba? Long-term liability, tsaka stockholders equity. Tingnan nyo, o, oh, issuance of stock, issuance of bonds, o, oh, kita nyo, class, o, oh. debt, stock, dividend. Saan nyo ba nakikita yan? sa long-term liability, tsaka sa stockholders equity. Okay? And, how about statement of changes in equity? Since, uh, you're looking at your stockholders equity, then definitely, you're looking at had there been growth in the organization that you can see in the stockholders equity in terms of the investment made by the owners, di ba? And, uh, reconciliations because uh, uh, if, if you are Uh, let's say, a corporation. Kasi depende yan, no? Kung ikaw ay sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation. Kasi ginagamit natin yung stockholders' equity pagka-corporation. Kasi dito, ano lang tawag natin? Partners' equity. ba? Diba? Ano pa dito? O, edi capital. Or, ano pa? Ang pwede nyong itawag pagka-sole proprietorship. At saka dito class, ba diba? You have expanded accounting equation. Ano yun? Original investment plus additional investment, less withdrawal plus revenue, less deductions to revenue. ba diba? mm. And, ano yan? Itong mga to, ito, sa balance sheet, sa statement of financial position, eto, sa statement of operation, eh, syempre, ito, nilalagay din yan sa balance sheet. ba? Diba? And then, yung makukuha mo na net income, net loss, ikinoclose mo yan sa equity section. Kaya nga, ang, ang, ang ginamit lang natin, ali, eh. Equity. Kasi, depende kung sino yung pinag-uusapan natin na form of business. No? So, ah, uh, yun ang kain naman if you have statement of changes in equity. Again, it, it will show the details of what had happened, no? Doon sa mga pinagkatiwala sa ating puhunan. Okay? And because of that, you were able to learn about, ano, the expanded accounting equation. Kasi kanina, basic accounting equation lang, eh, di ba? Oh, why do we need to have notes? Because not everything that's happening to us are quantitative. Diba? There are also qualitative factor. And when you talk about qualitative factor, these are significant information that would have an impact in making decision. And what are those? You have a summary of significant accounting policies. 
no assumption and estimate and you'll give a summary of the totals kasi on the face of the financial statement di ba understandability sabi nga dapat kung pwede less is more no you have you have to be able to to simplify your financial statement so madalas sa face less is more the details you'll put in the notes to financial statement and uh, yan yung sinasabing disclosure of important information that is not recognized such as yung mga contracts no related party transaction then also looking at the uh, risk uh, commitments no and other significant items that's why you have your standard for 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 you to use that as a basis okay that's your notes too financial statement. So, we're done with the five components. Again, your P, profitability, will be shown in the statement of operation. No? Your activity or your liquidity will be in the statement of gas flow. And your no? uh, solvency will be shown in the statement of financial, financial possession. Okay? Now, what would be the principle supplied in our Y? So, nasa Y pa lang tayo, ha? Doon sa 5 W's, isa pa lang na discuss natin. Uh, kasi, we're talking about decision, and the decision's basis will be the FS. So, it's the FS that we talk about. The output is the decision, the FS is the basis, no? which will serve as our input in making decision. Okay? Yeah. And, and, and the principle that we apply there would be accrual in preparation of the FS. So, if you are in financial accounting and reporting, it would be accrual basis. And um, what is accrual? That would be your next experience point. No? Dapat uh, alam nyo kung ano ang accrual basis accounting. And then, cash accounting will be the other side of accrual accounting but financial statement should at our uh, side the principle used will be accrual accounting okay so you tell me when cash accounting is allowed huh? that's part of your experience point when you define what accrual accounting is okay now what again is accounting it's all about ac ac count think and we learned that the output are all about the sessions. And for you to do the decision, the count, the process will be cycle. And the think, the input, the knowledge on functions to facilitate the act on making the session. So, what would be our food for thought in our first major video in the review? The concept is all about the output and the input. Your output will be the session. The basis of this output will be the financial statement. And the financial statement will be presented based on the objective that we have, which will be sound, which serve as our input. No? And our financial statement should pass and our objective should be internal and external goal of the firm indicators are the sum okay so always smile that is with your smile everybody would be uh, somehow or at yourself you'll be able to shine be able to motivate others and inspire and lead as well as excel because you are smiling so thank you and good day